Hey guys, in today's video, we're going to be talking about the Zoom H1. Hi, my name is Rebecca Meyer, and if you're new to this program, let me begin by welcoming you. I predominantly talk about uh, tech and I do tutorials to give you some tips about your awesome gear. So if that's something that you're interested in, make sure you hit that subscribe button and don't forget to ring the little notification bell so you don't miss anything. So today I thought I'd talk about the Zoom H1. I believe this is the most underrated piece of tech that anyone can have in their bag and it's got so many uses. Uh, whether you've got a DSLR or using a point and shoot, um, this is something you definitely want to have in your bag. So let's get into it. All right, so let's talk about the first thing. Have you ever been making a video and then uh, you went back, you listened to the recordings and you realized either, uh, either the microphone cut out that you were using or you were getting some weird feedback noise or just something happened with the audio that you had uh, going into your DSLR or mirrorless camera? Um, this is where this awesome piece of tech comes in. You can use this as like a backup. So just set this up in front of you. That way you've got a, a backup audio that's recorded and you can just sync it up later in post. Because this is an audio recorder, you can actually use it as a microphone. So if you've got multiple speakers and, uh, and you wanna be able to pass this as like a handheld mic, you do have that option. Uh, I actually used this in one of my videos that I was uh, doing as sort of like a wrap up for Hurricane Irma that we had last September. Today I am with my friends uh, and coworkers. You might've seen Greg before in my previous previous video. This is Graham. And, um, and it was great to be able to use it. Now, had I been using a shotgun mic, then uh, it would have been just facing me and it would have made it more difficult for me to get good audio on sort of everyone. This is uh, omnidirectional, so it's not going to have that like pinpoint thing or that pinpoint direction. This way it's going to give you uh, a little bit of everything as far as the sound goes. Now what's amazing about this is that uh, you can actually attach a lavalier to it. That way you can just uh, stick it directly on you. That way you're getting some really, really good sound. Uh, and it's great, especially if you're using a point and shoot, like you're doing the run and gun type of stuff. Now I have found, at least with my point and shoot, that the audio is, you know, the audio is so-so. And I've been looking into possibly getting other cameras uh, that I can use, but it always goes back to the sound quality. Um, you know, if you have a lavalier, it's going to sound a lot better so you don't get that echoey sounding room. I'm in a very, very echoey sounding room right now. So especially if you're using a point and shoot, you can stick the lavalier on you. The closer your voice is going to be to the microphone, the better it's going to sound. And because you're using a lavalier, plugging this in, uh, it's going to sound really, really, really good. So I've just put on my JK lavalier and we're going to be testing out the H1 Zoom with uh, with the lavalier that way we can use this as a vlogging camera so let's go so i've just put on my jk lavalier and we're going to be testing out the h1 zoom with uh, with the lavalier that way we can use this as a vlogging camera so let's go so i've just put on my jk lavalier and we're going to be testing out the h1 zoom with uh, with the lavalier that way we can use this as a vlogging camera so let's go all right, so I am at a stoplight and i um, almost at the grocery store. Just got to get a few items and um, yeah, it's all good stuff. All right, so I am at a stoplight and i um, almost at the grocery store. Just got to get a few items and um, yeah, it's all good stuff. Okay, we got the pineapple, got the bananas. Okay, we got the pineapple, got the bananas. All right, all I can say is uh, God bless the vloggers. I don't know how they do it, man, because it's so weird doing this not in my house. All right, all I can say is uh, God bless the vloggers. I don't know how they do it, man, because it's so weird doing this not in my house. <laughs> all right, now this is a place to vlog. Now this is a place to vlog. All right, one of my favorite things is uh, Spanish moss behind me. I always think it looks super, super beautiful. Definitely one of my favorite things. All right, one of my favorite things is uh, Spanish moss behind me. I always think it looks super, super beautiful. Definitely one of my favorite things.
Now, especially if you're new to DSLRs and things like that, uh, as you know, DSLRs can be very expensive and um, it kind of sucks to, once you not only like upgrade your camera and then your lenses and then your audio, you know, it can be very, very expensive, but because this uh, can actually attach to your DSLR, um, Movu makes a, a great little attachment. You can just stick it right on and uh, put it right on your DSLR. That way um, it's gonna be a little bit easier to get started. But the thing is, not only, again, is this a recorder, but it can actually be uh, put directly into your DSLR. That way you don't have to sync up the, the sound later in post. All right, this is just to give you a little idea of what the H1 Zoom sounds like directly plugged into a DSLR. Now I'm constantly, constantly playing with audio. Um, some people like to like play with their cameras and their, you know, things like that. For whatever reason, I love playing with audio and testing things out. Um, and uh, even when I'm not making videos, I'm usually tinkering with something having to do with audio. For whatever reason, I really, really enjoy playing with audio. Um, but the, the thing is about this, I can use this um, as a preamp. Now the preamp that's inside your DSLR mirrorless camera usually is not very good, but um, because this has an amazing preamp inside it, I can use this and just um, use the, the, the volume levels to adjust um, how I want my, my audio to sound. And that takes me to, uh, I can use this as a monitor. Um, I'm not using it right now, which I think sucks, uh, but as I'm recording this, I'm not able to actually monitor the, the sound bars, um, but because this has um, the, the bars on it that you can see, you can see where your sound is at and what your decibel levels are, that makes this really, really amazing. The other thing is, um, because you can actually put a headphone jack inside this, um, it is really easy to monitor your uh, your levels. That way you can hear it, you can see it, and you know that, that you've got something good going on or bad, you know, as the case may be. Well, I hope you enjoyed this little video. Thank you so much for stopping by. Um, this, again, I believe is the most important tech that you can have in your bag. This never gets old. It's just an awesome piece of gear. And, um, and I do think that everyone should have this because it has so many uses. I'm gonna have some links in the description below. Uh, so if you have any questions about it, you know, please let me know. I'd love to hear from you in the comments. And uh, thank you again so much for stopping by. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell. All right, guys, have a wonderful day and we'll see you soon. Bye.